What's good YouTube? How's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another reaction video. If you're new here for the first time, my name is TMR and since you clicked on this video, you might as well subscribe to this YouTube channel and please make sure you click the notification bell and make sure you give me a big thumbs up and also leave your comments down below. What's good YouTube? How's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Car Chronicles, okay? I'm your host, TMR. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Before we get started with this reaction, y'all, I just wanna say shout out to Texas. Man, y'all going through it, okay? And I got a lot of friends, some family in Texas, and I just wanna say shout out to y'all. Shout out to all my subscribers that's in the Texas area. And if you are being affected by this weather, shout outs to you. And peace to y'all. Um, my prayers are going up to you guys. Um, I've talked to a couple of my friends and family there in Texas. And I'm, I'm sorry that y'all are going through that. As we know, you guys, right now, a lot of us here in the United States is going through something. Um, we've got massive amount of snow. But, you know, we're used to it up here in the Midwest. So, you know, it is what it is for us up here. But, you know, for Texas, y'all know y'all not used to that type of weather. Okay. Shout out to everyone that's suffering from the storm and I pray that y'all get through it, okay? It's always darkest before the dawn. Trust and believe the sun will shine and, and I pray that everything gets better really, really soon. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get into this reaction. Um, Y'all, I've been, you know, out of, out of the loop a little bit. But since we're talking about Texas, y'all, we're going to go ahead and start with some of our mommies that live in Texas. You know, at one time we had all three of our mommies in Texas, but now we got two. So we're going to start, start off real quick by Strong Mommy Chrissy. Y'all, I don't, Strong Mommy Chrissy, y'all know she, her posting is kind of, you know, here and there. But she did do a live the other day to let everyone know that she was affected by the storm. They didn't have any power. And then, is it, yeah, yeah yesterday she posted on her Instagram, that, um, their pipe busted okay in a house and then she came back and said that the plumber was on its way so sis over there going through it luckily for strong mommy chrissy her mama lived right down the street so i don't you know hopefully that she you know she did say in her live that some of the kids were down there and i think she said she had three of them with her so hopefully you know they were able to go down there hopefully she wasn't out of you know without water and stuff for a long time but never you don't know how it is unless you've been through you know a natural disaster type situation so um you know i, I can understand especially with her having all those children i know that's a lot you know because you gotta keep everybody calm you gotta keep everybody entertained fed warm and everything else so chrissy going through it right so now. hopefully that strong mommy name will hold out for sis right now while she's weathering the storm okay literally all right y'all so now we're gonna talk a little bit about my jazzy life so jazzy um you know she put up two videos she put up one on her cooking cooking channel and then she put up one on her main channel my jazzy life um the video on my jazzy life you know y'all jazzy says she got spies y'all yeah, y'all, we, we back at that again. I thought to myself, Jasmine, you just refuse to keep the negativity off your channel, huh? You do. I said, my God, girl. Anyway, but since you don't want to keep it off, girl, we gonna go and talk about it. So Jasmine started off the video, uh, you know, putting the kids in the camera and making up a bed and yada, yada, yada. And I was like, okay, girl. Um, you know what, y'all? I think Jasmine, now she did mention Chris a lot in that video, but I think you know, that day that she made up that bed. I don't know if sis had just took a nap or something. But it looked like only one side of the bed was slept on. Because I noticed the other side. Y'all, you said, Tim, are you too damn nosy? Well, girl, shit. Yes, I am. But I did notice that one side of the bed was messed up. That must have been the side she was on. The other side wasn't messed up. So I'm like, well, maybe Chris do work nights. Or maybe he do work during the day. I don't know, y'all. Because unless, that she, you know, that she was just getting up or that she had took a nap. Because y'all know you don't. Jab and don't normally don't get up to 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So, child, who knows? But anyway, um, she was doing some activity with the children. I noticed Jasmine is trying not to talk as much, but we know Jasmine likes to talk. So, she's not going to be able to, you know, exit that out all the way. So, Jasmine did, um, she said in the video, you guys, she mentioned that she talked to her baby daddy, Philip, y'all, the kid's dad. And, Philip had, you know, some questions, okay? Because he said the eyes in the sky, 
i.e. I guess Asia, because she said she's not going to say any names, but we already know from a few months ago, uh, you know, Asia was the informant for Philip. So she said that she had to get bruh in check and get him caught up on some things. And, you know, at this point, it is what it is, okay? I don't even think it's even now. I, I don't know, y'all, because obviously I don't talk to Asia or anybody, or I don't even talk to Jasmine. But at this point, y'all, I think it's more of... You know, when they get on the phone and they talk Asia and Philip, they probably discuss the children for a minute. And then, you know, the, the conversation probably automatically shifts to Jasmine because Jasmine lives her life on the Internet. So, hell, it, it anybody can see what's going on and she, anybody can report back to Philip. You know, who knows? But Philip had to question her about some things. And, you know, and the only thing I could say to that is, Philip, you know, sir, I, I understand you feel like Jasmine don't really got... A full brain over there to help with those kids but you know sir she's been doing it all by herself for the past few years without your help and if she's managed to do it this long i think she can manage to do it for, uh, a little bit longer y'all let me know what y'all think down below but i'm thinking to myself ninja how dare you call and check up on what i got going on over here when if you was out of jail you would definitely know what was going on when nobody had to tell you what's going on because you would be here to know it because these damn kids would be over there with you okay if I was Jasmine, that's what I would be telling that man. Don't hey, don't be calling here checking me when you ain't sent and and I said and and child support to this address, sir. Yeah, don't be calling here checking up on me. Okay, your baby daddy sis. I guess you're gonna have to keep questioning and answering to this man as long as you feel like you, you know, I don't feel like you obligated to answer anything other than how are the children? They're just fine or whatever milestones they've reached. You, you know, you can let him know that information. But if he wanted to be a willing participant and if he wanted to know everything, you know, I mean. Philip, you probably shouldn't have did what you did, sir, to get yourself in that situation where you can't be in control of what's going on with your children. I mean, you know, I don't know, y'all. That's just my opinion, okay? So, uh, Jasmine said that, you know, she had to go to the store. And, and I noticed on her Jazzed Up Life channel, she said on My Jazzy Life that Chris went to the store for her. But then she said on the My Jazzed Up Life, she went to the she she showed herself at walmart and i'm just like well sis how much food do y'all need over there you know and she kept saying in the video in the my jazzy life video she kept saying how uh babe wanted to go to the store with her but they didn't have nobody to watch the, she didn't she didn't want to take all the kids out then she said she wanted to go when babe went to the store but she didn't have anybody to watch the kids and all i kept saying was what purpose was even saying that, Jasmine? Like, it, you made it sound like you gonna leave them kids by themselves. Like, that's what I got from it. Like, why are you mentioning that if that's not even an option? Like, obviously, if you wanted to go with the store with Babe or Babe wanted to go to the store with you and there's no adult there, then obviously somebody would have to be there to watch the children. They can't watch themselves. I'm thinking to my CC Jazz, and that's what I be talking about, Sid. It'd be too much information. You'd be saying too much and putting too much in your videos to make people put two and two together, Sid. I, I, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But... You know, Jasmine, you know, she said that she's feeling better and she's not going to let the internet tear her down and mess with her bag. And you know what, Jasmine, that's, you're right, sister. I mean, do what you got to do. We we understand that you're not going to stop making videos. You're not going to stop doing what you come on here to do. No one's saying that you have to stop. The only thing that I was saying and many other people that was in my comment section is, sis, you need to take a little break. You need to take a little hiatus, get yourself all the way together. And I think Jasmine is trying. She's showing herself trying to be a little bit more nicer and interactive with her children. And I'm like, okay, sis. Now, the only way that I would be able to notice that is obviously there's been times where you didn't show it yourself being as attentive to your children so hopefully she's seen the error in her ways that channel that had all them videos put together I'm, I'm hoping jasmine took a look at all those videos and noticed like ooh, yeah that yeah that look bad and hopefully she realized that i need to clean up my act okay so hopefully she's doing that so y'all we go we go in this reaction because this reaction is not gonna be very long because i really don't have a whole lot to say y'all but i i just wanted to come and give y'all my thoughts on, on what i've been seeing it's not a lot been going on but i do want to talk about the b simone um her manifesting um love situation and how her statement went viral i am going to talk about that 
I'm hopefully to go live um, later this week and we can discuss that because I found that to be interesting. So I wanted to talk to y'all about that. If you guys want to talk about the Be Simone Manifest in Love comments, y'all drop down in the comment section and let me know if you'll be interested in discussing that as a, as a, in a live form, okay? But so we're going to end this reaction off with um, Liv's life, okay, y'all? All right, y'all, here's the thing with Liv. I, I don't got a whole bunch to say, but I will say this. So Liv, y'all know she's back in Florida. Um, Brandon, I guess, is back in Texas. And, you know, I, I guess, you know, Brandon is a part of the storyline. I don't know why, but we know Liv likes to keep it spicy over there. So Liv mentioned the other day that she has, you know, started memberships. And she's going to start putting her exclusive videos and tea on members. And I'm thinking to myself, well, sis, members has been available for quite some time. Um, you have a channel that has almost 100,000 subscribers. You know, my little bitty channel don't have nowhere near what she has. And if I'm utilizing membership, girl, that function has always been there and available to you. Why you just now deciding to do it, I have no idea. Now, well, this is what I'm going to say to this. Olivia most definitely can do whatever she wants to do with her channel. That benefit is not there just for a lives life. It's there for anybody on YouTube that has the benefit to have membership available to them. If she wants to use it, use it. But sis, don't use it like, you know, like you, like it's like, I don't know. Like, sis, you got membership, and if you want to give your members exclusive content, okay, sis, but don't make like it's Halloween candy and you just taunting it in people's faces. It's like, girl, it's, uh, you know how many channels has memberships? I mean, Lovely T, she has memberships, and, you know, th this is membership, and this is what she has to offer, and it is what it is. Like, that's it. But, of course, you know, a lot of people were feeling some type of way about it because they was, you know, because y'all, we y'all we used to getting all Olivia's tea because sis didn't filter anything. So now she feel like she going to be smart and she going to put her tea over there. And like, okay, girl, you should have been did that a long time ago. Um, but, I mean, whatever. At this point, my theory is this, y'all, and this is just a thought of mine. That's not going to last long with Olivia, me personally, because Olivia likes attention. Unless she gains a 1,000 members over there and paying that membership, you know, if to me personally, eventually Olivia's going to migrate right back on, to, on giving her membership totally to, or, you know, giving her content totally to YouTube because sis likes the attention. She likes the drama, you know, and when she sees the, the you know, the few views on those membership only videos, she's going to sign right on back over there to YouTube. So for people who was getting their panties all in a bunch, y'all just sit back and wait. That's all I can say. At the end of the day, who cares? Because, honey, just like she's spilling her tea, everybody else on here, there's other channels spilling their tea too, okay? And it might be a little better tea than Olivia. So we know the other day Olivia went back and forth with another reactor. And this is my thought with that. You know, my thing is this. This shit ain't personal right it shouldn't be i'm gonna just say that it shouldn't be personal right but, you know it's like this olivia has a hundred thousand we just gonna say a hundred thousand subscribers and it and it was just like girl what that didn't even make any sense to me i'm just like girl you could have found something else better to do with your time if that's the case then you might as well start just doing videos on everybody in your everybody that comes to your comment section and leave nasty comments or everybody that leaves comments in your live streams or everybody to come over there and dm you crazy stuff on your instagram you might as well just start fighting them and start doing videos for all those people because it, it it just didn't make sense to me you know it just it didn't make sense to me but at the end of the day a lot of what olivia does doesn't make sense to me y'all i don't pay any attention to that lady you know like i said she's just a person i watch on youtube it's nothing personal it's nothing about it it's just you know we you know i watched her channel had thoughts and opinions like a lot of other people do and here you go here go the thoughts and opinions but sis you know olivia feel like you know, should nobody say anything about her? But it's the here's the thing: the people that's the things that people are saying about Olivia. There, nobody's making that up, sis. It's the information you put out here for the whole world to see. So, do you honestly think that you're going to put controversial topics out there and people don't have thoughts and opinions about it? You know, just like I mentioned before, B Simone, y'all. A lot of people don't like B Simone. A lot of people do like B Simone. But at the end of the day, it doesn't stop B Simone for saying what she want to say on her own platform. And I don't understand why that would stop anybody else. Like you do, like people should understand. I 
understand this. And it took me a while to understand it. Yeah, everybody's not going to like TMR. and But that's okay because everybody doesn't have to like TMR. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, right? But for the people who do like TMR and want to engage with TMR, then here you go. Here go this video. Let's talk about it down below in the comment section. And y'all, we going to move on. But for the people who don't like me or don't care for me, yeah, sis, I'm not going to get on here and go back and forth with you. Because for what? Because at the end of the day, honey, when I put this phone down, social media is closed. Finito. It's, it's you know, but when you make it a part of your life, then I guess you're going to keep reacting and fighting with people i don't know y'all but i'll definitely talk to y'all in the next video i gotta go i need to run into the gas station y'all okay but i'm gonna holla at y'all thank you so much for watching this video make sure you leave me a thumbs up please make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and make sure you click the boom notification bell so therefore every time i put out a new video you'll be the first to know it remember you guys sub what you love bye bye